the historic abortion ruling in Arizona. The state Supreme Court has just declared that a near total ban on abortions is enforceable. The ruling strikes down a law from 2022, which allowed abortions up to 15 weeks in favor of a law from the Civil War era. It bans the procedure under almost any circumstances. Moments after today's ruling was announced, Arizona's Democratic governor made this pledge. My executive order removing the ability of county attorneys to prosecute women and doctors for performing abortions remains. I refuse to allow extremist county prosecutors to use this abortion ban to lock up women and doctors seeking or providing needed health care. The state of Arizona now joins a growing list of states where abortion care is effectively banned after the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade two years ago. NBC News correspondent Vaughn Hilliard is here to break down this ruling. So, Vaughn, what does this mean for those seeking an abortion in the state of Arizona, and will voters have a chance to have their say? Hey, guys, yeah, there's a 14-day stay that is currently implemented here before potentially a, 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 another appeal on constitutional grounds could go forward. But as of now, the Arizona Supreme Court made the determination that the territorial ban signed back in 1864, 50 years before Arizona was even a state, is the one that is going to go on the books because it was never actually repealed. Uh, the state legislature and the governor, they signed back in 2022 another bill that banned abortions after 15 weeks, and you noted a potential constitutional amendment that could be on the ballot this November, which is significant. Just last week, organizations uh, announced that they had garnered more than 500,000 signatures to place a ballot measure on November's ballot that would, uh, would create a constitutional right in Arizona to uh, abortion access up to 24 weeks. And so here in the state of Arizona, at least for the next seven months here, until that ballot measure were to be voted on by Arizona voters, are looking at this territorial ban, which bans abortion entirely in the state of Arizona, except when a woman's life is in danger, is what is going to be going on the books. And one other note is that as part of that 1864 law, there is punishment of two to five years in prison for those who provide abortions under this law, guys. And any reaction yet from the White House? We just heard from Vice President Kamala Harris, who is actually going to be going to Arizona. We are now told this upcoming Friday for an abortion access event. And part of her statement from the vice president says, in part, quote, Arizona just rolled back the clock to a time before women could vote. And by his own admission, there's one person responsible, Donald Trump. Of course, Donald Trump is touted as overturning a Roe v. Wade through the U.S. Supreme Court and the three justices who he nominated to the bench. Of course, he just released a statement yesterday saying that he believes that the state and voters should ultimately make the determinations. But, of course, this is a repercussion of the overturning of Roe v. Wade. And now that state court, the Arizona Supreme Court, making this determination that that 1864 law that was on the books in Arizona is the one that will now go into effect. Guys. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.